Hey guys, what is going on? Barcode back again with some more Need for Speed Payback. A little bit different today though. We're going to be looking at what is going on with Payback basically. Because at the minute this game, this game is dying heavily. Uh, so we're going to be looking at what's going on, what's going wrong. And what EA and Goals need to do to stop this game dying. Uh, especially with Crew 2 just around the corner. So make sure you're liking, sharing and subscribing. And get those notifications turned on with daily awesome action here on the channel. So we're going to go delve into some feedback, uh, what I've got some of you guys during the live streams uh, and give my own thoughts on what I think is going on. Uh, so we're going to start at the beginning and we're going to start with what's good. Um, so, you know, the game launched, you know, the campaign is really good. Personally, I love the campaign. Yes, it's a bit short and it kind of stops abruptly and hopefully that comes soon. Uh, more content for that, but the campaign is actually really good. I love the campaign. I love playing it. I enjoyed playing it. There was one mission I got stuck for two hours on one race, uh, but I actually quite enjoyed the campaign. Graphics are really good as well, I can't really complain at those. Uh, the actual drivability, I enjoy the drivability on the... I, I've been playing 2015 and Rivals quite recently, um, as I saw in yesterday's video. Um, I really enjoy it, I mean some of the physics are a bit iffy, uh, but drivability I actually really enjoy. Uh, customization, there's a lot of customization on the car, uh, bodywork, parts, stuff like that, which is good for people who enjoy that sort of thing. Uh, Run items as well, you know, with nos, uh, nos colours, underglow, tyre smoke. It's really good. It basically adds, it helps you make your car your own, which I think is really good uh, stuff we added. All the wraps as well. I've seen some amazing wraps. I don't make any of my wraps. I'll, most of my wraps look really good. I don't make them. I get them from a community page. You know, some people make some amazing wraps. And yes, I know slots, people want more, and we'll touch that when we get to the bad stuff. But we're looking at good stuff, guys. We're looking at good stuff. Tune in. If you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that I love the tune in. Payback. It's simple, it's simplistic, it's easy. I don't have to stress about it. I don't have to mess about doing this, doing that. It's three simple things per build and it's done. I love the tuning in this game, it's nice and simple. Um, and I say, different car, different builds. You create one thing I don't like as well with builds. It's like different cars. I haven't got, with 2015, if you want to keep the same car, unless you want to buy multiple, you got to go and change the tuning every time you do a different sort of race. At least with Payback, yes, you're limited to, you know, you have to get different cars for different builds, uh, for different events, but you can race what you want. But you haven't got to mess about changing the tuning setup, like, per event. Yes, you know, race to race, but I, I can go and do a race, and I go swap car, I don't go do a drift. I, I, I personally like it. Uh, but that was a very short what's good with the game. There is more, we touched on the main point, so. Uh, but what went wrong? Uh, so... Let me just say, we'll start at the beginning again. Lack of content. It launched with so little content. So many, so much stuff was missing. You know, free roam, um, cops. Well, free roam cops. Because there's no free roam, obviously. Uh, even re even roaming cops in a single player campaign we weren't any. You know, you got to do a bait craze and stuff. Um, a lot of cars missing uh, from previous games. Like we know the issue with Toyota. Uh, Toyota don't want to give the right license to any non Japanese companies. Um, unless you falls it and got lots of money because Microsoft paid for it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, Toyota is an issue. Uh, but there's Ferraris been. Now, personally, I don't know why there's no Ferraris. Uh, if you do know, please let me know down in the comments. Um, I'm hoping that we're just saving them for a car pack. Uh, but again, we've been in previous games, so if they're going to save them as a car pack and then sell it, it's like it's EA digging them in pot pockets. It's like we could have put the cars in. If they still hold the license, we could have put the cars in. I know we're going to sell them to us instead. Um, so wait and see. I'll say it may be different. If maybe something else going on, so if you know what's going on for Arby's, please let me know. Because uh, I can't find anything to say that we don't have a license. Um, so I don't know why we're not in the game, unless we want to sell to us later. Uh, Touching on cars again. 299, man. Why is the cars at 299? There's so many good cars. And yes, you can drive me single player, but you want to go to a speed list, you're not going to win races. I mean, you basically can't win anything, unless you've got a Carrera. Unless you're me, anyway. Carrera, Mazda, and a Mazda Mustang, you're not going to win races. I mean, I can race any car in a speed list. But if I'm in a lobby with good racers in Carreras, I'm not going to beat them. Very rarely can I beat someone, a good racer in a Carrera, if I'm not in a Carrera. It's, it's just too OP. Which is good. You know, I don't want it nerfed. But I reckon there's so many other cars at 299 which could compete with it. Uh, we need to get those up. And I know we did uh, edit Skyline, we upped it, and we said it was a test. So hopefully we do get some more 399 cars from the 299 people. But again, without more content that's already in the game, we're just going to up the level. So rather than putting new cars in, we're just going to up those ones, which is good, but again, it's still not exactly new content. Uh, I said earlier with wrap slots, you know, customization is great. Um, personally, I don't make wraps. I'm not really into that. I ain't got my patience. Uh, people who do, I know we want more wrap slots. Um, and I don't. I know it's memory storage and data, but I, we need to get more slots. I know a lot of people complain to me about wrap slots um, who do make wraps and we want more wrap slots. Uh, the upgrade system, personally, I, I, I like the idea. You know, you... 
you, you only got to mess about doing part by part by part. You know, it's not a hundred different parts. It's six parts which realistically have no impact on what your car does. You know, if you get an upgrade for the exhaust, it's not going to affect anything like that. Um, it's just a way of separating them. Um, I like the idea behind the concept. It's nice and simple, but I think there needs to be a better way to get better rolls. Tokens aren't easy to come by if you don't play the game a lot, unless you're buying some shipments. So I, I play this game pretty much two or three hours every single day because I stream it. Um, and I've bought a lot of shipments in the past. So when I buy a car, I, I make it to the max. And tokens have stopped me making builds. Um, because they're just so hard to come by. There is ways you can do it. Um, you know, get them cheaply. But again, you still need money to do that. And in the early game, money isn't that easy to come by. Uh, so, like that. so the idea is good. Personally, with the upgrade system, I would change it up. But we'll touch on that in a second. Uh, another big hate is the loading screens and the respawns uh, on this game. Some of the respawns in multiplayer are just absolutely atrocious. You go off a cliff 10 times in a row, or it takes half an hour to actually respawn you, and you're out of back and it's pointless and you complete the race. Uh, multiplayer is so broken. It is so broken. And I think stuff like that enhances people's abilities just to be able to take make a mess of it. Like, you go on a drift. I hate that you can see when someone's got a drift going. If you're over front or second or third, you've had one massive drift going, and the person behind you can see that you've got no points, but you've been in a drift for the past five minutes. All you've got to do is hit you. They know you're in a drift, so some people will personally hit you. I think we need to get rid of a little icon uh, next to your name when you're drifting. Um, and that way, at least no one can see that you're drifting. So if they hit you, they hit you, but at least they ain't got a reason to hit you. Uh, and again, multiplayer, uh, especially free roam, only eight people. It's like. It's no fun. It's free roam is so boring right now with eight people. It's it's not enough to do. You know, if you've been in the streams, we've we've made games, you do races, but it's like we don't even play free roam anymore because nobody's playing the game. Because the game is dying. Uh, but hopefully we can fix it. Uh, but I think there's a lot of things we need to see uh, for them to fix it. You know, right right now we need a big update right now. Uh, I know a month or two of this game is going to be dead, um, especially with a crew two going uh, coming. Uh, are there no limits? Is it, is it no limits with the mobile game? I uh, got an update this week, which, you know, uh, I, I, mean, I don't play it. I mean, do many people play it? But it's a, it's a free game. I'm assuming you can buy stuff in it. But updating a mobile game, when people have paid a lot of money, you know, some people have paid a lot of money for payback, and the updates have been so slow in coming. Uh, the, first, you know, the speed cost update was actually quite good. Uh, yes, the cars couldn't go to 399, but we had a few events which were fun, and a bit of a story to it, sort of, with the voiceovers and stuff. Uh, but it was fun. And the next updates, so we had free roam, which is, should have been in the game anyway, but it didn't really bring anything extra, like missions wise. It was just free roam, who had nothing in it. Um, although the next update, again, brought. We fixed a lot of uh, fixes, uh, glitches and stuff. Uh, but, you know, it brought the activities in the free roam, but again, they kind of pointless, because we've only done them in the main campaign. So I know it's something extra, but it wasn't enough. Um, so, yeah, uh, what else do we need? We need bigger lobbies. Uh, in free roam, as I've said. Um, I, personally, I'd love to see a drift only speed list, uh, but with a different system. I'd love to see it like the um, like the campaign system, where if you hit a wall or hit someone, you just lose a multiplier. So rather than the person out in front with a two times multiplier, the person out the back with a one, just get rid of that multiplier. But that way, there's no reason for people to hit you to get past you. Just give everyone a multiplier based on how long they've been drifting, like we do in the campaign. Surely it would work. It works in campaign. Surely it could work in online. Uh, that way people aren't fighting to get in front of you, there's no reason people should be hitting you. We don't have to get past you to get more points. All we've got to do is not hit a wall. I'd love to see a drift on the speed list with the campaign system. I would love, I would never leave it. All I would do is drift all day. Honestly, it's all, it's all I would do. Um, all, the, all, we, all cars need to be at 3.99. Uh, which we have said, you know, Eddie Skyline was a test. We brought it up and it worked. And, Hopefully we'll see more cars, but again, it's not really new content, it's just bumping cars we've already got, but it'd be nice to put them in a speed list and see if we can beat back forever, you know what I mean? Uh, Aussie, more story, more events is what we want. The last couple of days I haven't brought much, <laughs> like with, with Castrol, whatever it was, time trials. Honestly, it was a worthless event, it was absolutely pointless. It's the most pointless event I've ever seen in an update for the game. We want proper events, I want to see a continuation of the main storyline. It kind of... I say I said before the campaign was really good, but it kind of finished abruptly. You felt like there was more, um, and I really think they probably just cut the cut, just cut. And I really think they cut the story short uh, to save it for another time. Maybe it just wasn't ready, or it was always a plan. Uh, but I feel there's more story, and we need that story now um, because it adds, the story adds so much. Yes, it, hopefully a few events come with it, 
we, the story adds to a game, and I enjoyed the story. The campaign was probably the best part of this game, uh, which is really good. Um, but yeah, so we need to see more story, more events. Uh, I'll say, if you upgrade a system, I touched on before. Uh, personally, I, 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 personally, like I say, I sort of like it. The, the idea behind it. Uh, but trying to get triple perks, like I say, can burn through so many tokens. Uh, what I'd like to see is even if it costs more. So right now it's three tokens per spin. So how about for a guaranteed double perked card, it's nine. It's nine tokens. And for a guaranteed triple, it's 27. Yeah, it's 27 tokens. But I, I've easily spanned ten times and not got a triple perk. Uh, and again, you might if you get jumped, it's screwed anyway. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I won't mind that. 9 and 27 for double and triple perk cards. I'd happily play 27. Um, burn through a few hundred at a time. Easily. Get it done. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's probably a lot more in this game. So let me know down in the comments, uh, kind of what you think uh, could else be improved, what you want to see, what you think is wrong. Uh, and we'll hopefully be yeah, able to take notice of some people and try and get some stuff done. Um, I will be carry on playing this game up until Crew 2. Uh, if you know, it has to be an update before Crew 2. Uh, I mean, it needs to be an update just after Crew 2 as well. So right, right now, I'm hoping this video should be coming out on Sunday. So I'm hoping that tomorrow we get an announcement say there's an update this week. It's a big one. And then after Crew 2, a couple of weeks after Crew 2, we need to drop another update. Otherwise, this game will die. The game's dying now. It's on its last legs. Um, so hopefully, we get some more stuff out. Um, hopefully, save the game. You know, pay back the payers who paid them the money for the game. Uh, but yeah, so make sure you're liking, sharing and subscribing. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I will be back tomorrow with a first live stream after a few days away. Uh, hopefully you drop by. Like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications. As always, though, you've been awesome. I'm your barcode. I'm checking out.